Welcome to Sanctum Asylum. I am Keyless, and we are playing Dungeon Munchies. So I've tried to make my camera a little smaller on my face cam so that we can see more of what's going on in the game. So I will be really, really tiny. Let's see if we can mosey on back a little bit because I remember there being a couple of places. What the hell? Look at this thing. I wonder if I'll run into that. So we're going to go back. I think it was the slimy tunnel. There was a place I could jump up, but I couldn't get there before, but maybe I can now. So we're going to head back a little bit. Just going to explore. Oops. Kind of hurt myself there. Ah, there's more snails. Ow, ow, ow. Oh yeah, they're really easy now. Really, really easy. Oh, he's crawling on me. Yeah, look at that. Taking him out too quick. I don't know, I might really not be able to find this again. Because I remember there was a certain place I couldn't jump up to. And now I feel like I maybe could? Or actually, I might still not be able to. This might be a huge waste of time! Oh, there's the exit. Ah. Yeah, so we went in a big circle. Ooh, what's this? It says we can craft something new now? Oh. Raise the snail shield to block attacks that come from that direction. Wow, it can be raised for 20 seconds. What's this? This sharp dagger causes enemies to bleed. I don't think we want any of these, so we'll just ignore that for now. See this cute little shrimp? I've also applied a fully automatic teleportation spell to a bunch of these. You can activate them by offering your prayers. Activated shrines can then take you to any other activated shrines. Isn't that convenient? The spell actually just tears you to bits. Yeah, we read this already. Alright. So let's see if we can go back to... What do we think? It's the toad ponds? Shrimp ponds? Training camp. I might have to, like, do a small video of us going backwards a little bit. And just when I find extra things, I'll, uh, I'll put it into a video. Something like that, but we'll try and make some progress here. Let's see, what else was I missing? Wow, look at all the stuff I got. What is this? Lost recipe shrimp. How do I use that? Lost recipes, huh? How do I use those? Another thing I will have to figure out. What was it called? It's called Lost Recipe, just shrimp. Not sure yet. Permanent double jump! Okay, well let's keep going here. Oh, he almost got me. He almost got me a little bit. I said, uh, I think in the last video, that this wasn't going to be a terribly casual game, but I think I'm going to have to retract that and say that so far it's pretty casual. I don't feel like any of the fights are overtly difficult, which is kind of nice. Oh shit! Okay, that's bad. Now I feel like I'm going backwards. I'm not supposed to be there. I'm going the opposite direction. Okay, that's fine, because we always have to farm anyway. We always should. So, but we'll head over this way. Yeah, see, that's how I can get a little bit higher. Uh-oh. Oh, here's that statue. Stems for sale. 60 stakes each. Stakes. Half the proceeds go to the Lord Protector of the Forest. Hey buddy, can I interest you in these amazing stems? 
You'll receive the best stims money can buy. But more importantly, you'll be doing this forest an important service. Any good plant should have a couple of these to show solidarity to the Lord Protector in her struggle against the evil necromancer. The evil necromancer? Are they talking about Zimmer? Wait, you don't look like a plant. You're an animal or some kind of moving human corpse. Oh, you're one of Simmer's cowardly zombie soldiers. Keep your dirty undead hands away from me and my stems. Beat it. All right, fair enough. Oh, who are these characters? And what is this thing? Let's talk to them. Look, it's the necromancer's new weapon. Weapon? It looks like a human to me. We need to report this back to Portavix. He warned us about the humans and their destructive powers. Is that right, though? My great-grandpa said that humans used to take care of us. They would put us in bags so we don't get bitten by bugs. What are you talking about? Did you not hear the news? That human massacred a bunch of guava trees down at the forest. But guava trees aren't exactly like us. They're still dumb, violent, and aggressive. Don't underestimate those things. Today it might be just the guava trees, but tomorrow it'll be us! Oh, look at this banana. <laughs> that doesn't look good. I think we could talk to these guys multiple times, actually. What? Never seen an angry carrot before? Get lost! Okay, so... Look! It's the necromancer's new weapon. So that one's not that. That was the same. Oh, it's more bananas. These aren't ripe yet. We are the young bananas. We refuse to be eaten by lower animals. No more banana abuse. Lord Protector, please hear our voices. But in the end, don't we belong in the stomachs of other creatures? We're meant to sacrifice ourselves for the greater good. We will not lie down and give up our lives like that. Bananas deserve to lead their own fulfilling lives, too. Ah, maybe one day you'll understand. Aw, oh, poor Grandma Banana. Oh, look who it is! We know this guy. Why are you here? I don't like meeting people I know when I'm out and about. Nothing against you personally. But I'm trying to develop a mature aura of sophisticated and new by putting on my thinking face under the streetlight. Seeing you broke my immersion, so now I have to start all over again. Oh. The mood around here has been kind of dense. The vegetables and fruits are all up in arms over something. And it looks like your boss and my boss are also fighting. That's why you were sent to fight me. Here's the thing. I just don't understand the reason behind starting fights when there's so much to see and do. I used to be rooting for the ground. But now that I'm free, I spend all my time exploring. I don't have the time and the energy to start fights. Oh, I see. He wants to be a traveler. All right, let's proceed forward here. I was, I was going the wrong way before, but we figured it out. We're going the right way now. And what's this? Oh, I can't get over there. What is this? You are falling behind on your work, lowly laborer. You are neglecting your sacred duty and purposefully slacking off. This is stupid. I'm so bored of carving rocks all day that my eyes are about to sprout. I'm about this close to just lying face down and taking root. You fail to recognize the significance of your work! The Lord Protector is our guiding light. To revere and revel in the Lord's light is to respect the future of plant kind. I don't see how making statues or following the boss's ecology thing helps me in any way. Silence! Our Lord transcends socioeconomic labels, so there will be none of this boss business. 
You work for greatness, not for your petty desires. Our humble Lord has done so much for us and has allowed us to see greatness. We must band together and worship to eliminate any threats. No thanks. I'll band together with my friends when I get off work. Well, we can't get through here yet. What is this thing? Look. Look, look, look. It's a, um, what? Ice cream cone, right? Oh, oh, I fell. Gotta get back up there. There we go. Oh, man, I crushed him. There we are. Oh, do we need that? Do we want it? Yes, we want it. Oh, basketball. Uh, no ball, though. Oh, just crabs. What the hell? Oh, no. Oh, that hurt. Oh, I can I can break them. I can stop them from hitting me. Eh, not those, though. What's he got right now? He's got a shield. We took him down. We did pretty good there. Not too shabby. All right, let's see. Let's turn this up a bit, make sure we can hear everything. It's a quiet game. Oh no. Wow. Oh yeah. If you get behind them, these guys, they got nothing. Oh, I hit him so hard. Oh, he's kicking my ass. Oh, good. They sure are crabby today. It's the big heavy body of a crab. Yeah, so that's what we got is the crab body. There we are. Recycling. I guess we recycle zombies? Whoa, that thing's terrifying. Wow, 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 wow. Oh man. Okay, let's see if we can finish him off from afar. Oh, those uh, those mushrooms, I kind of hate the mostest. They're hard to get close to. They're hard to get close to because they keep poisoning the air around them. Oh, not that we should complain too much. We're still kicking ass. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Okay, we need to recover a little bit. It's going to be the easiest way to... Can I duck? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what cheese it? What cheese it? I don't care. I'll cheat. I'll do it. No shame. No shame. So I wonder if we can make crab cakes or something. Oh, look. We can get back to town. Ah, and there's all this stuff here, too. So let's see what we can make now. So the new thing that we can make is double crab boil. If two melee attacks from different weapons or abilities strike an enemy at almost the same time, the latter attack will inflict 50% increased damage. That's kind of cool. What's this grilled glowy shroom? Oh no, we've seen all the rest of this stuff. So we should be good. We're not using two melee weapons right now. Maybe one day. Ah, look, a crab axe. Ooh, a crab bow. Hold attack to draw the bow and release to fire. Wow, that sounds pretty cool, actually. Is that a main weapon? And this is a shield. Ooh, a spear. Wow. The spear looks really cool. I mean, I like the idea of a bow and arrow, but this does a lot of damage. Oh, this does more. Huh. Let's try the spear. Yeah, make it. A long-range melee weapon. Okay, so let's let's take a look at this thing. Oh wow, yeah, it's got some range. Pokey, pokey. Oh no, no simmer, no simmer. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, we're going down. So we found we found another. Um, oh, oh no. It's a boss. Are we prepared for this? I think we'll be fine. Aha! Your retreat has been sealed, despicable zombie! 
I will enjoy watching your gruesome demise. Clifford, you've arrived. Arr, arr. Oh no. What is this crap? I'm gonna poke you. Oh shit. Wow, that was really spiffy. And not good enough. Just keep poking it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? That, that looks terrible. Oh. Ow. Ow, wow, it's kicking my butt. Oh god, what was that? It just exploded. Oh. I was not expecting that. Okay, we've got to play this a little better. Oh. Okay. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. So what happened was, um, I have this thing where if I push shift too many times, it asks me if I want to turn on sticky keys, and it took me out of the game. So no, I don't want to do that. Wow, that was a really crappy way to die. I mean, I was probably going to die anyway, but that was really crappy. Um, maybe we should change the button on that. Can we? I don't think we can! Oh, that's just bad. Okay, we're going to have to be careful with the rolling. Or it'll take me out of the game. I don't like this, by the way. I don't like this main weapon. Let's try the axe instead. Oh, it's only 21. This is 33. Well, we know this does pretty good damage. Yeah, let's give it a try. Does that mean we can have both? Like a shield? And a bow and arrow? That's crazy. Okay, that's really cool. We'll try that. That's craziness. Okay, let's try and kill this thing again. And we'll be more careful with our shifting. Because shift rolls. Shift rolls. But if I use it too much, it'll take me out of the game. Okay. Additional challenge. Ooh. So we'll try and block instead. Yeah. Wow, he does that so quick though. Yeah, he does that so quick. Oh, I still get hit by that too. Wow. Okay, so we finally reached a boss that's actually pretty tricky. Um, we'll just have to get better at it. We'll just have to keep practicing until we can do it. Oh, that's not going to work. So we can't, like, fire quickly. We have to... Oh, we can fire pretty quick, though. Okay, let's try that. Oh, he keeps getting close to me. Yeah, this boat does a lot of damage, though. Come on, keep firing! Oh, what did I do? Oh, it keeps teleporting right on top of me! Let's try and get, like, right in its face. Oh, it doesn't like that. Right in its face! I think I have to charge this up to get power out of it, though. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, I tried to dodge. It didn't happen. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is... I don't know what weapon would be best for this. Man, I, I might have to change up my abilities here a little bit. 
take aim and create a fiery explosion. So I didn't like the crab spear, but I might like this. I don't know, we'll keep trying things. We'll keep trying. Oops. Ow, 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 ow. We gotta get more crab though. Wow, that goes right through walls, huh? Oh, see, that blocks against projectiles, I guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for this bow and arrow at all. This is sucks. Okay, well that should be enough. Unless I didn't get the right thing. I might need like a crab claw and not a crab body. Let's take a look. Oops, that's not right. Um, nope, we can do it. So we'll make this. It doesn't seem like this does max 13 points of damage absorbed. So it doesn't absorb enough, really. So I definitely need to be rolling and doing lots and lots of damage. But we'll use it for emergencies. And what can we make here? Increase the attack range of all melee weapons. Periodically emit a cloud of toxic spores. On hit emits jet waters of jets of water inflicting damage. Maybe we increase our health by a little bit. What's this one do? Perform an upward slash that I'm never using. I probably should be though. Will that still work with this axe though? No, it only works with the fire weapons. So since we're not using a fire weapon, we'll take this off right now. Hmm, what do we want? We want this. So now we'll be harder to kill. Good. I like it. We have to be super close with this though. So once again, we're going to want to get up in its face. So let's try this. Oh, look at that. So if we get behind it, that's where we want to be. The mostest. There, 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 there. Yeah, that's right. Get close to it. Oh, what the hell is that? Well, that's bad, right? Where is it? Come get me. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Just want to be right up in its butt. Come here. Ow. All right. Just keep beating on it. Mm. Gotta be super close. Oh, now it's phase three? There's another phase. Okay, let's see where it's going. What is all this crap? Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I don't know what it's doing, but it's quite terrible. Huh. Doesn't want to die. I don't blame it. I don't want to die either, so... I understand. I, I do, I understand. But you gotta die, man. Why are you still alive? Why are you still alive? You should be dead. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, is it done? It's still attacking me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I even having to do this right now? I don't understand, it's dead! It, but it's dead! Ooh. Oh, ow, ow. Okay, so does this last forever, or what, what's going on exactly? Is it exhausted? Has it exhausted itself? Yes, it did. <laughs> that was intense. <sighs> Good.
Good old sword and board. What's happening? Arf. He's the strongest zombie you've ever fought. Arf. 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 Stop repeating and translating everything I say. I know. But you need to get rid of that abominable thing. Can you just try again? Arf. Wait. Don't go. <clears throat> you think you've won? This is just the beginning, and I'm still prepared. Preparing your demise. I'm not running away. I'm giving you a fighting chance. Or whatever's left of it. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Jeez. That was a pretty intense fight. That took some... That took some doing. But we got him. So the secret was just to get real close to him. Just be real close, and then at the end, just dodge everything until he finally wears himself out. Oh, Summer's gonna talk to us. Uh oh Lord Protector. I can't believe Clifford lost to a mere zombie. This isn't your typical skeleton warrior, is it? Yo, it's been a while, girl. Uh, uh, wait. I heard you got a new name. What is it they call you? Gord Inspector or something? The almighty Gord Inspector of the forest. Because of your lack of restraint, your servant will pay dearly for disrupting the natural order. Oh, watch out, big scary green flames. Forbidden magic is only mastered by the friendless and unemployed. What are you trying to do? I'm here to spread culture and civilization. I'm putting together our books and training the next generation of magical chefs. If I remember correctly, you wrote this volume. I hope your skills haven't gotten rusty from all the plant babysitting you do these days. How can a spirit who can't eat or taste food possibly cook food that others will enjoy. It's meaningless, and I learned this a long time ago. Besides, there's no longer anyone around to... La la la, blah blah blah, love to chat, can't hear you, don't have time, I'm taking the book. Do what you want, take it. But you can say goodbye to your zombie chef if you continue to trample on my work. What is this? place needs is a natural balance and order and I will incinerate anything that tries to disrupt my work don't worry about any of that just nab all the ingredients you can lay your hands on I can revive you so long as I can revive you so I've got your back okay so yeah technically I can't die so that's kind of nice let's talk to Simmer Phew. she's finally gone She's always nagging. I've set up another camp at the other half of these ruins. The whole place is now a small rainforest filled with giant spiders and mantises. That's right, in order to become a top chef, you must continue eating insects. I'll meet you there. I just need a space out for a bit. So here's the third book, Lois Phase 2. Revealed culinary secrets from Lohas Phase 2. All right. Sweet. So let's go down. What? What? There's a new area. Yeah, there's mantises and stuff here. Ah. And so we can travel back to... I don't know what these do. I don't know what these do yet. Huh. So did I get any new recipes? Yes. But I don't have the ingredients for them? I don't know. Oh, that's why these are blacked out. I can see these and I can make these, but I can't make these because I don't have the recipes yet. Seafood hot pot. Oh, so wait a minute. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, look, what's this? I can beat the crap out of it. Cool. Can't make any new weapons yet, so we'll just continue on. A little bit. What is this thing? A torso. Forced surgery. Little arms. Oh, I can climb walls. 
What? This should let you climb walls. To be honest, this is the first time I've seen the boss treat her worker so well. I don't think we have the same employee benefits. <laughs> nope. It's because I'm amazing and you're not. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. Okay, so now I can get anywhere, basically. Whoa, 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 whoa. Unless there's spiky bits in my way. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so this is as far as I go here. <laughs> oh, it's a tree. Get out of here, tree. So this makes it tricky, but I feel like I can handle this, so that's kind of cool. It's nice when they throw unique things at you, but that you can totally handle. What's this? A spider? Come here, spider. Oh, he trapped me. Oh, God. It's a jumping spider. Man, those are the worst, too, aren't they? Whew, those are terrifying. Oh. Uh. Uh. Wow. Okay, so we've got to be careful here. Wow. Come here. Stupid spider. Stop jumping at me. Oh, yeah, you're going to die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's another one. We'll come back for them if we need them. Like if we need their... Their spider bits. What the hell is this thing? Ow! Yeah, we just gotta be really close to it. Yeah, <laughs> it's an eyeball. It's a glen tentacle. These are vines. It can photosynthesize so it doesn't have to attack and eat other creatures. But it does attack other creatures, apparently. Oh. It's got me. Oh, it died. Oh yeah, I poisoned stuff. Yep. Okay, let's get up here. Yeah, we just gotta be close to these. And then they are easy to dispatch. Yeah, it's just like a floating eyeball with tentacles. Not anymore, though. Now it's just a dead eyeball. Ow! You dick. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is that? It's a mushroom. Hey, wait, what was that? What was down there? What's that? I can get in there. I can. I just probably have to take a little bit of damage. It's fine. Ow. Ow. Oh, a wooden gun, an allegedly dangerous ancient weapon. Doesn't seem that dangerous if it's made of wood. Yeah. Okay, well, we got it, whatever it is. Ooh, ew, ew, ew. Oh, these spiky bits are painful. I do regenerate, though, just very, very slowly. Maybe I can upgrade that. Die here, spider. Oh, he got me. Okay, let's see if he'll get up here. Yes. It's funny because they, they tend to jump over me. So that's probably not good for them. Okay, this is bad. Can't really get to them. I do block sometimes. I know it looks like I'm getting hit, but sometimes I'm blocking so it doesn't actually hurt me. Oh, that's new. Not sure what that was. Can't get up here. Oh, it's fine. Oh, here, another elevator. So this should take us Lojas phase two. Oh, so we're on phase two, which means, what is that? Let's see. Ah, so this is something new. Damage output of fully drawn bow attacks increased by 50%. Not using a bow and arrow. What's this thing? Oh yeah, I can make a new weapon. Laser staff and a spider dagger made out of a big spider fang. Inflicts spider dagger poison. Inflicts 200 points of damage over 10 seconds? That's crazy. That's a lot of waiting, though. Shoot, we'll try it. What does this do? 21 points? So basically, we stab him and run away. Alright. Do it. 
Yeah, it's just a little, little dagger. Huh, why is this here, I wonder? I don't know. Probably serves no point. That's fine. There. That double jump comes in handy, I'll tell you what. Whoa! It's invisible! Now we just let it die? Yeah, basically. Ooh. There. So yeah, then we just walk away and let it die. This cuts better than Simmer's old dull knife. Okay, well let's try that later. Oh no! Okay, let's get away from them. Oh! Take a little bit too much damage here. Okay, they are gonna die though. I'll just let it happen. Ten seconds. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> That's some guerrilla warfare there. Whatever works. Okay, there. Now we run away. Oh! He's got me trapped. Yep. Look at that. Brilliant. It's probably not the most efficient way that I could be doing stuff here. Oh no! Why are these back? Oh no! Wow! I'm definitely going down. Oh no! They're everywhere! Oh god! Okay, so I like the dagger, but it's probably... I could do better. Summons two friendly mantis spirits. That's a secondary weapon? Oh, and here's a bow. Melee weapon with a large range. So let's try... The bow. I haven't given the bow enough of a chance. And since we have the bow, we can use this. What's this? Oh, I can't make this now. Dagger inflicts... Dagger attack inflicts serious bleeding, causing 200 points of damage over 4 seconds. Damn! So let's go get another Mantis Claw, and then we'll make... We can make the dagger even better. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, we've got this bow drawn. Ow. Wow, he's got some range, too. Ow. Ow. Okay, so we got one Mantis Claw. Now we gotta get back down here. And make it. So first, we wanna put the dagger back on. Let's see if we can, because if we have to make it again, I don't know how that works. Spider dagger. Yeah, we, we already have it. We have it made. So, then we make the mantis claw. Your stomach's full. He inflicts three points of damage for every melee attack, so we probably don't need that. That's not very much now. All right, great. And then for the secondary weapon, I think... Oh, this is a secondary weapon. Shoot lasers. Well, that sounds awesome. Let's do this. Let's check it out. So that's pretty great. So if we get close, we can stab them. And then from afar, we can shoot lasers. <laughs> That's cool. All right, but we're going to have to save this for the next episode. So thanks for joining me on this one. And uh, we'll try out this new stuff on the next. And I will see you then.